Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Infiltration. So, um, I want to deal with a couple things today. First of all, I've upgraded to 4.33, I believe. It's quite a distance from the one I had installed before. Um, so, they've changed the settings for the double lances because now it's standard. Um, but they did allow for me to not choose the extra large map size and the random starting locations so I didn't select those and the reason why I didn't I like the idea behind random starting locations uh, I know it's been something I've mentioned in the past but with the start locations um, uh, sometimes we start on top of enemy mechs sometimes we're down in a valley and we can't get up or they're down in a valley and they can't get up uh, which happens with large maps as well. I thought we're just going to leave the standard locations. I want to have a fair fight for both sides. Um, usually, uh, I think in the battles that we've played in the last nine episodes, it's mostly to our advantage. Uh, and I don't want to give us some kind of, uh, you know, false advantage at the start. Uh, I like the ideas. I just don't think it's implemented uh, at 100% just yet. Now, that being said, like I said, I haven't tried it in this version, so I have no idea if that's been changed or not, uh, if they've changed where the um, enemy will start. So they're not starting in a valley and they can't get up because they don't have jump jets or whatever. So I don't know that for a fact, but I just wanted to play safe, and we're, we're going to do that. Uh, the next thing I want to look at is how they've laid out the menu here. Now, I don't know if this is specific to... Um, Battletech or if this was an add-on, uh, but I think it's brilliant. Uh, now the Argo, um, the store, uh, things like that, you don't have the other options that were there. Uh, command Center, same same thing, right? We go right to Contracts where we don't have to select between people or contracts. The Command Staff is all down here now, which is great. Uh, we've got our Memorial down here that we can quickly access if we want to access it. Uh, mech Bays are instantly accessible, which is great. Uh, and now that we're in mech base, let's have a quick look. Now, somebody had mentioned, and I apologize, um, I could tab out and find the name of the person. They had mentioned that uh, in the comments that I had a Grinner that I could uh, assemble. But I went down in here and I had a look, and I don't have enough parts. So I've got two or three, but I thought I may have had another. Like, we have a Wolfhound, uh, which really isn't the same. So I can't really assemble. Oh, it says ready here. Uh... Apparently I do. I was looking in the wrong... Okay. Sorry, that's my bad. So we got a Wolfhound. Or, sorry, not a Wolfhound, a Grinner. Okay, cool. Thank you for that. Sorry, I. you know what? The weird thing is, is I was looking through this before I started, and I was looking down here for a ready. I wasn't looking in the top corner. Uh, so I should, probably should have done that. So we got... A, uh, that's our Piranha that we put in storage. We've got two parts of a Hunchback. Um... There's only one here, it's the 1G, and then we've got another part somewhere else here. So I don't think we've got anything else we can assemble here. Yeah, thanks for that. I really appreciate uh, that that uh, good eyes on that, because I didn't uh, realize that we had that. Perfect. So going to the base. Um, Grinner, let's see what we got here. Doesn't look like we got much so far. Uh, so if we, if we repair this thing... Looking at 156,000. We got a medium pulse. We need a fusion core installed. It'll be a little bit of work to get this thing up and running, but at 35 tons, uh, we max the armor out. What are we looking at here? On to 67,000. So let's do that. Uh, leave the clan double heatsink kit in. Pharaoh. Yeah, let's go with this. Um, got a hand on one arm. Yeah, let's go with this because we may be able to turn this into our medium pulse wagon like we had in the. Uh, um, Jade Falcon Freeborn. So let's go ahead and we're going to confirm this and get this thing up and running. Right. Nice. Get it. Let's get now I did sell a few things so I was able to pay for that. Oh my god, the color scheme. Please no. Oh, can I change that now? No, I can't. Ah! I'll change it after. <laughs> Painful. Um, okay, so uh, the other thing I wanted to show you over here too was the engineering section. Um, if you haven't played this version, I haven't. But they added a command and control here. So we can change our drop size. So I don't know whether this is like uh, 2.4 million. So we're going to go for some C bills today and see if we can get enough to uh, be able to pay for this and be comfortable. Um, so I don't know. We're, we'll find out, I guess, soon enough if we need to buy this to be able to expand our drop size. Uh, I, I'm guessing. I think we do. Uh, Mech control drop tonnage. I don't know what this is. How this is going to affect it, but we'll find that sooner enough. I think. 
Um, so let's just go to the command center. Let's get let's get rolling here. Um, oh yeah, the other thing too is in the store there was a Stealth X that I bought. It was one hundred eighteen thousand. It was like like nothing. Oh, sorry, I didn't buy the Stealth X. I was going to buy it. I'm just going to buy this right now. Uh, I figure it's going to help us out a little bit. Um, I don't know who will put it on just quite yet. It's good for a missile mech, I guess, early on, just so it can stand back and not be seen. Um, but yeah, I want to I want to buy that for now. It's it's cheap enough, and we'll play with it. If we don't like it, we can just sell it. All right. So uh, I think we want to do Vanguard today. It's a def well, yeah, it's a defend base, right? Um, I don't want to. I see that I'm I'm just afraid to go too far up here. This is against Clan Wolf. We had some good. Uh, um, missions last time at one skull that that could have been d disastrous for us let's let's take the vanguard here we'll start off with something simple today hopefully we can get in two missions today so let's negotiate this uh, and I'm gonna leave it up the middle here uh, 155 I think this will cover our drop cost um, and get some half decent sell well how much is full salvage 95,000 and this is 155 it's only a difference of 60 which we can probably pick up in the extra four pieces of salvage that we can choose one of. So I think we'll be okay there. So let's do that. We'll just have to make sure we take some uh, some some good salvage. Now Dallas is back, so let's get Duck Duck Goose out here. Goofy can shift back. Let's bring Dallas in. Um, and let's hard rock this and see what we can do. Actually, Gundal, um, you're running... That's the LRM-15 and large laser, if I'm not mistaken. And the urban mech is the two ER mediums, the MRM-10. Yeah, so let's leave Dallas in this one. And we'll leave Gundal here, but I want to move her up. Like that. And let's deploy. Yep, we know the HAL 9000's uh, under tonned. Drop cost is only 60,000, so that's good for us. Alright, here we go. Yeah, see, this would have been a, a bit of a tricky mission if... Um, this was a large map because the the enemies may not have been able to get up to us. All right, uh, so we know how this one plays out. Looks like we've got another lance here. Commander, one of our lances would hit in the way to the facility and I suffered 50% losses. That's fine. We must ensure that the survivors reach the facility. We can do that. The carrying hardware activation keys for the base turrets. Okay. Looks like they're already here. So <laughs> I don't know. There we go. Escort done. Turrets are online. Turrets online. Is that a vulture? Ice ferret. Looks like a vulture though. From a distance. That's ah, similar. Not quite the same. It's not as sleek as the vulture is. Okay, what do we got here? A hoplite. Low armor. Cicada. Uh, what do we got over here? Phoenix hawk. Adder. 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 Light dual gun. Two light rifles. Okay, well. Quad gun, rotary, autocannon two. That's nice. As long as it doesn't shoot us in the back. Uh, what do we got down here? Light rifle position, medium rifle, and a pair of rocket tens. And where is the other one? It's over here somewhere, isn't it? It's hard to see now with all these uh, vehicles on the board here. We got a Pegasus. Firefly, that's me. Oh, the turret was up there. I guess it's in the... Oh, here it is. It's in the base. Light Calliope. Pair of LRM-5 Deltas and pair of ER Medium Lasers. It's kind of in a good position. So, I was about to say that these defend base missions are going to be a little more tricky. What's this guy? AP Gauss Rifles, ATM-9. Um, because we can't stay too close to the base uh, because incoming fire might miss us and hit the base. But then again, we can't go too far away from it because we may get hit by our own guns. Um, so it's going to have to, we're going to have to try to find a, a little bit of a balance here. Now, I, I don't, I mean, usually the first uh, guys come in from this direction, so I'm going to move down here. Uh, we're just going to move in. Um, I'm interested to see how many guys. Now, I noticed on the way in, we only had a choice for one lance, so my guess is that we have to have that second lance um, slot open inside the Argo in order to enable it. Alright, let's brace up here. Awaiting orders. 
uh, let's get you um, let's bring it down over here for now Certainly. I want to keep our, our guys in pairs of twos here I think here comes the Chiquita so this one might be a little slower because of all our allies here but I think once we start I think somebody mentioned once we start getting the second lance these allies will slowly begin to disappear so I think um, some of these allies are our quote unquote second lance and as we begin to expand our dropship capabilities we'll be able to take over that second lance with our own mechs which I think is you know it'll work good it seems everything seems to be moving quickly right now uh, but we don't have any VTOLs on here okay there's the first uh, first enemy yeah. Gundal you get first shot at him let's uh, bring it into here uh, so yeah uh, I think that'll be kind of interesting as long as it's playing quickly the fact that we don't have large map sizes on and random start locations could uh, really be helping us out here um, yeah let's go full out we got lots of ammo we got enough for what 16 turns of firing so let's go for it all right a little bit of damage yeah he's thinking twice about moving in quickly exposed structure already comes the pegasus So I hope we get some good salvage out of this. It'd be nice if they had a hunchback moving in on us, but half a skull, I, I doubt it. And I may have to raise up the amount of mech parts to for mechs because if we're getting, you know, tons of parts, or maybe I just don't select them in the salvage, I don't know. I just don't see it. I know other people are like, yeah, take the mechs, take the mechs, but if I have so many mechs in my bay that I can't even outfit or like I don't have the money to be able to fix up I know I could just assemble them and sell them that's a good way to do it too but it just I don't know I don't, I don't want to say it, it seems unfair but it just kind of it feels like cheating to me it just does and I'm sorry to say that it just feels like cheating if you think about mercenary companies you know there's there's no way we'd be getting that much stuff Jenner and another and a locust okay so let's burn through the side of this guy see you later you know I hate to say this because his name is goofy but he's actually becoming one of the more reliable pilots we have uh, that's not a bad thing just saying he's just you know being really reliable with his shots here let's move in I want to try and take these guys down quickly so that we can deal with the uh, reinforcements coming in no nothing detected. nothing I thought one of the three would have hit yeah we know guys we know we got reinforcements coming in so if we can pull these guys down quick within the first couple of turns then we don't have to worry about these guys at our backside I mean I guess I could leave the uh, clan wolf guys to deal with them but I like getting the kills. I don't like letting the enemy take them for me or letting our allies take the kills for me. Comes our risk Irby. I really should put together a lance of just Irby's. Yeah man, nice hits. Got a tag and I don't know if it was on this guy or the guy behind him. I saw the one but it was off to the side. I wonder if we tagged this guy. I guess it doesn't really matter. Any tag is a good tag. So usually the reinforcements show up here and down south of the uh, thing, of the base. So there should be another mech back here somewhere too. Yeah. What can I do, you fool? What can I do, you fool? I'm just gonna move you over here. No problem. Let's get off of there. And let's drop some missiles on this guy. 7.3. What's up on the other guy? Not a little better on the other guy, but we might be able to spill over. I ah, a few points. A few points is better than no points. You know what I'm saying?
So I got to really, I'm going to, when I choose salvage today, I'm going to try and consider the Hollander. Um, because we do need to get that thing up and running. Um, and I got to figure out what we're going to drop on it. I mean, it's got a good ballistic hard point. So I'm wondering if we should try and find, we've got the LBX 10. Oh, I don't think we have any ammo for it. I think we got LBX slug ammo. I can't remember if that was for the is it LBX-5 or an LBX-10. I think we've got one ton of ammo for the LBX. Ooh, see ya! Yeah, this is playing way faster now. Good job. I mean, the Rogue Tech team, I, I have no complaints at all. You know, I the only the only things, I mean, it sounds like, it may sound like I'm complaining, but it's just really suggestions. Um, if I had to play the game as we did in the first seven episodes where it was slow all the time, it would feel painful. If I wasn't recording, I would, like I said, I'd have no problem playing that. Um, but because I'm recording, it just makes everything really slow. And I just don't have the time to go in and edit everything. Not that I can't edit. I mean, I totally could edit it, but like I said, I've been so tired lately and that's what I do every day at work as I edit. So it's like, uh, it's the last thing I want to do when I'm at home. Yeah, beautiful. Go ram it. Oh my god, that's the uh, Firefly reference. You have um, let's get you over here because I've got a feeling that we're going to have some guys coming up this way and we're going to brace you in there. Now you're really, I mean, of the two sides, I think this is the best side for Goofy because of all his close range weapons and they're all going to be coming straight up here anyway. Um, the other side, he'd have to move in too close to the enemy, so I'm going to sprint. It helps that I know where they're coming from, so let's just get right over there. I'm going to speed that up. I want to try and get a second battle in today. So I guess the goal really, I mean, I guess I should think about starting selling mechs, because I want to get that, uh, today, I want to try and get that second, um, the second Leopard dropship. So I'm I'm pretty sure we won't be able to drop all four mechs with that, but I want to get that up and running today. It's 2.4 million, so definitely want to be taking salvage. That if I can get salvage, that's going to have a uh, high sea bill uh, status. Now we do have a Clan XL engine, but I think I want to hang on to that maybe for the Grinner uh, or the Hollander. I don't know if the I, I can't remember if the Hollander had an XL or not. I think it had a standard XL, which I don't particularly like. All right, I think we're set up for the reinforcements now. Brace that up. Eight rounds left, we got tons of time. Stop destroying your own buildings. Kind of a weird pattern. All right, come on, guys. Let's go. I'm picking up a new sensor of course you are. Looks like enemy reinforcement. Looks like Urban Mac. We got a dropship coming back here. Wow, strangely enough, we're ready for it. Uh, how does that work out? I don't even know. The Jenner. This one's got an IC engine. Really? Not the building, the turret. Shoot the turrets. Urban Mac P, pirate. Oh, thank God it missed. That's all the rockets. What's this? Ah, oh, crap, I didn't see. Cattle Master. A couple of choppers. We'll see here in a second how fast these things move. Oh, that, you know what? Damn, man, they're moving pretty quick. Nice. No calculations. I guess because the map size is smaller and it's got less less calculations to do, although it is lagging a little bit where it's when it's firing, but that's fine. We'll see here in a second what happens. It's probably going to go after one of the buildings, most likely this one. Yep. I think we're going to lose a building here. It kind of sucks that they almost all go before us. This was another urban mech, wasn't it? It look, sure looks like it from the silhouette. But there's got to be another guy back here somewhere too, I think. Four and four. This is the second chopper. 
Yeah, so they still are a little bit slow, and that's fine. As long as we don't get like eight choppers in our <laughs> as our defenders or our attackers, I think we'll be fine. V tools, I guess, what do you call them? Whatever, whatever you want to call them. Vertical takeoff and landing. Oh, I don't know if it, I don't know if it was this guy or if it was somebody else, but. Uh, allies? Could be a turret. There's my wife with her evil anime laugh. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that in the background. She's, I, she's downstairs talking to my uh, youngest. Having a good time. They've been watching, uh, my youngest has been watching uh, uh, My Hero Academia lately. So I've turned my wife on to the anime uh, gate, which isn't too bad. The main character is funny as hell, but uh, it's not too bad of an anime. But my youngest has been uh, Doing lots of auditions for like modeling gigs and things like that. Not, no one's biting quite yet since the last two series that they did. So, um, waiting to see. Their uh, agency has been like using them as their poster child because they do. They've been doing really, really well. Been getting a lot of uh, a lot of. Um, just fire at this guy. Sorry, my. <laughs> Thinking and fighting at the same time is not a good idea. Even though I keep saying that they should be thinking and fighting. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Oh yeah, so they've they've been using them as a poster child because they've been getting a lot of auditions and stuff. So they've been requested to go. So that's that's nice. Not a lot of roles have been coming out of it, but I mean, I guess you know your your percentage chances when you're dealing with a lot of people. They're just looking for somebody perfect, right? Especially when you're you're getting cast for a series, unless you're the solo character for the series, which is you know, you're it's really difficult to get unless you're already really well established. Um, so they're looking for supporting characters, and the hardest thing about being a supporting character is um, it's 44, eh? It's this one. Still the same. Let's just move down into here. Um, is that they're looking for mixed? Um, a mixed cast so they don't um, like they don't oh that's a good chance to hit let's see if we can burn this guy um, they don't um, I mean I knowing from my company too we don't uh, say oh this person needs to be uh, a, a black female or this person needs to be you know um, an Asian male or whatever they just say okay we got a, we got a male we got two females um, and they just bring people in and whoever ends up being the best is what they take, right? So they'll just shift the um, the uh, characters based on that. So if you don't, if, if you're good, right, that's wonderful. Um, but if you don't fit in the mix that they need, well, you know, that's just the way it is. So, which is fine. Got no problem with that. It's nice having mixed representation. I'm so, so tired of white bread stuff. It's so last year's news. Nice. We can get this crapple master out of here. All right. What do we got down here? We got one guy. We got our uh, our firefly left here. Gun doll. Nice. Hammer him. Hammer him. Hammer him. I think we're gonna go after this Jenner. Oh, he's moving. Is he? Or is he just turning? He's already gone, right? Yeah, so he's taking CT damage now. A little bit of arm damage. He's got four mediums and an SRM4, so it's basically a standard loadout. So I think we're going to come around the side of him again and blast him from the side. So let's see if we can get down in here. We're going to have to run, I think. There's a side shot for us. Let's do that. We took damage from our own guys. 
Did we? The Farg. Really, guys? Really? Ah, one hit. We gotta stay away from our own guys, man. We're gonna just gonna die from friendly fire. I wonder if I should turn friendly fire off. I know it enhances the game, makes it a little more tricky to play, but but with so many of our allied units on the board, it's like I have no control over who they're going to shoot at. Which is kind of why I'm trying to move off to the side, <laughs> let them give them a free line of fire. Okay, who are you shooting at? Choppa. <clears throat> Okay, we got him. That's that rack turret. Beautiful. Now, is that the... That was the one back here. Okay, so we still got this ripper up here. That was the calliope turret. Ice ferret. Yeah, see, paint schemes. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it's if you have darker solid colors, I think it's probably better. But we have we got red and black, and we got that like fluorescent red <laughs> color. I like it, but like I don't know. I wish you could choose color per mech. That would kind of be neat. I understand why they don't do it, but it would be kind of neat. All right. Commander? All right, Dallas. Let's see what we can do here. Um, I don't want to get too close to the Crapple Master, so let's just attack him and then back up. See if we can claim the victory on this one. No. Oh, yep. We got it. Beautiful. So let's get out of our friendly fire range. Just move back here. Thank you. We still got this idiot back here. Paris six is an ER large. Getting shot in the back when an ER large would be bad. Somebody had a gas rifle. You know what they should do? Rather than lowering the lowering the armor on these guys, they should just half the number of mechs. Right? Because I think as defenders. I would rather have less de defenders fully armed and armored than more defenders with less armor uh, from a game perspective, not from a tactical from a tactical dis perspective I would rather have more of them, but from a game perspective I'd rather have less defenders with better armor, uh, just so it's not taking so long. I mean, it's not that it's taking long right now, but um, also too is less chance of receiving friendly fire and you don't have to navigate your way through all of these, these mechs here. So, that's my two cents. Rogue Tech Team, if you're listening, that's my that's my just personal opinion. Once again, uh, I'm pipe I'm uh, pumping up the Rogue Tech Team because damn, this is like the most awesome gameplay, I got to say. Really loving this. All right, let's get over here. Hopefully we're out of the way of that rack. I think that's probably good. MRM 20, eh? Well, let's hammer him, see if we can kill him. Yeah, some good damage. Hopefully somebody can finish him up. All right, Goofy. Um, we're going to end up killing all of these guys, but let's just focus on one at a time here. So let's move back here. Have no doubt it, will be done. it better be done, man. You're like, you know... Wow, bad chances to hit. We'll take him anyway. Laser spam. Now maybe we should just target the turd bee here back with the... Uh, it's got a lot of damage in the torso here. Two energy, ballistic, ballistic. I wonder if this is the one with a uh, couple of rifles. Nice. Generate me some salvage. So someone was saying that they were, uh, I apologize once again, I don't remember the name, 
were saying that they were farming urban mechs, the risk urban mechs for a double heat, a prototype double heat sinks, because apparently there's several different versions of those um, there of those urban mechs that uh, have prototype double heat sinks. So I totally get that. Like, I mean, I'd love to be able to do that right now. I think I want to solidify my weapon loadouts and then start doing that. Um, I think for me too, the like I like to to. Um, I don't want to say prolong my gameplay, but I like getting into the, the groove where I'm comfortable with how everything is laid out and then proceed forward one, like kind of a mech at a time if I can. I don't like the idea of like every episode constantly having a new mech to, to outfit and stuff. Because I find you just don't have enough time to, to gather up all the materials you need to be able to successfully do that. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, we, I think we should be able to finish off the, sorry, the right side. Uh, where are you going? We should be able to finish off the right side this turn. It's just the Ripper and that vehicle left, which we've already done a significant amount of damage to. And then this side here, um, looks like their mechs are moving in for the kill here. So hopefully, oh, okay. Yeah, I think they've got periphery rifles. Four points damage, unless it's an LBX or something, but I don't think so. Yeah, man, urban mechs are rack twos. So th uh, that's the way to go. It's scary enough turning the corner when you see a uh, urban mech with a uh, Autocan 20 on its shoulder. But it's that's an all or nothing mech, right? It either hits or it doesn't. And if it if it, you're if you're moving too quickly, most likely it's not going to hit you. But the rack one, oh, there goes the helicopter. Um, the rack one, it's like he's got multiple chances to, to screw you up, right? So that's why I kind of prefer the rack two over the autocan twenty. Although the autocan twenty could one shot you, the rack twos really can't unless it gets you know several good hits to your head. Most likely that won't happen, but. Ow! You shooting me in the back? You shooting me in the back, and now I'm close to him. Gonna take friendly fire like that, you fucking... You kill me, I'm gonna be PO'd. If you're going to fire missiles, fire them at the Urbans. Or blow him up. That Jenner is taking a punishment, man. It's still going too. Like, I don't, I think maybe it's lost an arm at the, at the most. No, it's still going. <laughs> yeah, it's a tough bastard. I'll give him that. He's doing well. Yeah, but like I was saying, I don't like having too many mechs in the mech bay. And then you can't outfit them, and you're not going to be using them most of the time. And, you know, later on it's okay when you've got lots of sea bills and lots of chances to get way more. Oh, nice shot. Uh, wait. If he lost, oh, it's his foot just destroyed. I thought he was going to fall over. If he does, he's, he's going to be uh, knocked out, and then it'll be the end of that guy. Um... But yeah, I like to have a good balance. Um, and if I've got lots of sea bills, then sure. But early on, you don't. So, oh, see ya. Cultivator, eh? You ain't cultivating shit now. Okay. Okay, I thought it, I took I took the damage. I think it was this vehicle that did. Uh, I thought I got penned by the uh, turret, but it wasn't me. It's this guy. See ya. Yay! And there was much rejoicing. Phoenix Hawk finally getting into the battle. Oh, nice damage though. Things still going. He's panicking though. Make him eject. Don't blow him up. Make him eject. 
we got some pretty quick guys here. 21, 18. I said don't blow him up. Shouldn't have said anything. Yes, Commander. Well, thanks for minimizing our salvage. Uh, I don't know which way to go. Let's just go this way. Copy that, Commander. Get into range for next turn if we can. I think it's just this Irby left, right? We got lots of speed. We got lots of speed. Hammer him. Oh! I think you're like the new Mockingbird, man. As long as he's got like, you know, 50% chances to hit or above, he's going to hit with most stuff. Well, now that I said that, it just seems that, that that's, that's been the case. Oh, he's not doing so good. Have a seat, buddy. All right, Gandal. You get a direct light of sight of this guy? Really? Let's not get too, too close. Hole and ass. Hole and asteroid. Should we just go for the CT hit on him? Or go, let's go for the leg. I think we go for the leg. See if we can claim it. Nope. We had to try, though. Svantovit. Come on, bail out. Bail out. Bail out. Still going, huh? That's it, huh? Well, Dallas might have a shot at finishing him off if this guy doesn't do it. Nope, Goofy. You have order? I really shouldn't be getting too close to this guy. See if we can burn through his side. Not sure how badly damaged this side is, but eh, not that bad. We might be able to claim his leg. Let's do an offensive push. All right, Goofy, let's see if you can do this. There we go. Beautiful. Yes. Mission successful. Oh, look at that, man. 10, 25, sorry, 35, 40, 50%, 60%. Increase in payments, you got that right, 101,000, which really isn't much, but still, after our drop costs, it's actually pretty good. Definitely cover our repairs. All right, let's move on. What do we got here? All right, we got lots of salvage. Um, I want to see what we got down here first. Heavy flamers, medium lasers, probably not much. Mine dispenser, what the hell does this do? Uh... Internal ammo for a single salvo, missile fires, mine 37, AMS. Fire salvo 5 unguided rockets. Fast cam technology, throw away rockets. Eh. 0.25 tons though. If I didn't have more important things. Oh, tag barrage, what's this? Area effect damage within 150 meters of impact. Additional area effect 100 meters primary. Six terrain area burned. Two burn duration, 10 burn strength. Can I be fired at flying targets? Three turns cooldown between shots. AOE damage. What's it says damage one? Is it just flames? Always ignites terrain. Um 
Gonna drop that in for now. That seems pretty cool. Uh, we need ferro. We got ferrofibrous. I'm looking for anything that we might be able to sell. Single heat sink cooling. SHS. That's just like a regular cooling system. Standard fusion engine. 200,000. Eh. Heavy flamer ammo. Heavy flamer sticky ammo. Machine guns. MRM. MRM improved ammo. So I don't think there's anything down here we want. Um, the pharaoh maybe, but we do have pharaoh and we do have clan pharaoh, one of each. So we don't really need that. How much is this worth? One million. So we'll probably get like, what, 130,000 for that if we, if we take it? Which really isn't a lot. So I'm thinking we take the mech parts so we can complete mechs. Now urban mechs, we could take the three. I, I don't know if we have Jenner parts. That's the other thing is I don't know. We could get a full Jenner R here. I wonder if I take... So this has, sorry. Two laser and two missile and two... Okay, and this is the Jenner D. That's the one that got smoked. Two, four laser and two missile and no support. Let's take a couple pieces of this Jenner. Uh, do we, uh, you know what? I'm going to go with all three. Let's get the Jenner R. Let's take it. Let's just do it. Confirm it. All right. Two Crapple Master parts, the Jenner parts. Oh, boy. 70 ton or 70 core. Bunch of heat sinks. Standard fusion engines. So we got some stuff to sell. Uh, and some stuff to keep. Okay. Alright. Ah, uh, that's like nothing. That's nothing. I think that was friendly fire too. Alright, so let's get those repaired. And our pilots are back in, what, four days each? Beautiful. Alright, so we're going to wait the four days. Um, actually, let's go to... Engineering. Oh, sorry, Mech Bay. I like the single clicks. Loving it. Good job, guys. Storage. Uh, where is that Jenner R? Let's ready this guy. That mech you wanted is back online. All right. Um, let's have a look at him. So this was the SRM6. Um, pair of SRM6s. Anything good? Uh, medium laser minus. Nothing really. So we're going to... Oh, we got the 155 core. All right, we're just going to scrap this guy. We're going to scrap it and grab whatever we can off it. Um, we're not going to get much. But that's fine. I mean, we we needed, the, we needed the coin. So let's scrap him, see what we get here. 236,000. We'll get another, you know, 130 from the engine. So about 400,000, which is great. I think this is going to give us the chance to... Uh, I think it will. Let's go sell some stuff here real quick. Because uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to... If we've got enough for this month, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, get that upgrade before the next mission. Now, I could sell the Piranha, but I want to hang on to it for now. Uh, where are you here? LRM5. We're not going to use a regular... Well, we might. I don't know. This can go. Don't need the miners. Five machine guns. Where do we pick up five machine guns from? Oh, we, we must have got it. I keep forgetting that they can come in groups in missions. This periphery rifle will sell. Uh, a full ton. Most likely you're not going to use these rockets. Ton and a half. These two are damaged, right? Let's just sell them both. The damaged ones. We'll hang on to the other. I don't know. We may like play around with the build, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, where is it here? 70 core. We can sell one of these. We got to make sure we're going to have enough for it was the 155 we got. So let's... It's only 100,000, eh? 
because it's damaged, that's why. Let's sell it. Um, let's sell the 60 core. We'll keep the 70. Keep the 100. I'm trying to do some incremental stuff here. So what we got? 300,000. Mm, we barely just have enough. Now I don't know if we... I don't think we need any of these basic ones, do we? Like basic cockpits and stuff? They, don't they already come equipped in the mech? Six plus Valiant. Pirate medium laser. Uh, let's see here. I think that's probably good. And if we're going to be doing another mission anyway, well, we should be fine. Wait, we got damaged Pharaoh. Let's just lose this too. I think we're fine now. Now these are all the damaged heat sinks. We got 18 normal, so let's just sell the damaged ones. Not going to need that. Um, it's strange for me to be hanging on to jump jets, but <laughs> we, we've been using them a lot lately. So basic sensors, so I'm just going to hang on to them just in case we get some damaged stuff. Uh, I think, oh, periphery rifle ammo. Because we're not going to be using periphery rifles at any point in time. All right, that looks good. So let's uh, quickly go to the engineering. And let's increase our drop size. It's one day. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. Beauty. We got 800,000, which is more than enough to make our financial report, which is good. Uh, so let's wait the four days for our pods to be back. That work order is complete, boss. Thank you. Time Thank you very much. So. Alright. Well, we can do another mission now. Getting close to getting this Highlander up and running. We'll be jumping planets probably when we do that, though. So let's have a look. Um, engineering. So that should... All right, well, let's see what that does here. Um, certainly costly in upkeep, that's for sure. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. Um, Swift Reclamation is a capture base. Uh, that's clan against Clan Wolf, though. Intelligence agents against Clan Wolf. Repossession against pirates. Ambush convoy. Yeah. I'm concerned about the sea bills. Let's go this route. Hopefully we can put together a mech and sell it. Or that other, if we don't, we're going to be selling that piranha. All right. So, okay. So I, I don't... Uh, we've only got one Lance. So does that second dropship not count towards Lance dropping? Probably not. Kit Fox still needs to be repaired. Uh, interesting. Uh, okay. Well, let's deploy and see what happens. Well, we got that uh, second dropship. I should have probably waited on it then, I guess. Yeah, we know he's got unused tonnage. Command interface initiated. Okay, landing on buildings. That's good. I only wonder if we have striking the convoy commander. Yep. Okay, this map. All right, let's hope we're not against too tough of... Uh, must uh, be close to the convoy now. Let's push on. So, I wonder if I have to spend more points to be able to increase my drop weight. Uh, so, we got a Raven, an Apollo, Prowler, and a Scorpion. 
All right, Goofy. I'll be there before you know. I'm gonna have to go and read up on that. I thought for sure having that second. I guess it just activates the ability to, to start using a second lance. And if so, then w that was very, very, very premature buy. I would have definitely waited till I had around five million sea bills because that's just really jacked up our uh, our monthly cost, which means we just need to work harder, I guess. And that's fine. Nothing like adding a little bit of stress to the uh, uh, to the gameplay. Why not? So, depending on what we get out of this mission, like I'm gonna have to go for sea bills here, I think, because we gotta pay for our nine hundred thousand monthly uh, uh, bill, and then we gotta uh, cover our drop our jump cost to the next next uh, world. Which means we may have to stay here and finish up all the other missions against Clan Wolf. Alright, see what we can spot here. Primary target on screen, Mobile HQ, okay. Ah, uh, they're pretty damn quick. Straight down the road, Dallas. We gotta jump on these vehicles fast. Okay, striker. Meh. We're not gonna get much out of this. Stay this side. Whole bunch of misses, but why not? Hetzer. Laser. Okay. I thought the Apollo had uh, LRMs. Longfire LRMs with thunder. Oh, great. Nothing like laying a minefield at my feet. Okay, let's drop some LRMs on this guy if we can. Wow. Oh, let's just save the ammo. Is this an urban mech back here? It is. Well, if we take Irby parts, maybe we can throw together Urban Mech and sell it. I think I'm going to reserve. I want this vehicle to move up so we can blast it. Save your ammo. Okay, here it comes. Yeah, we can deal with him now. Reporting. Walk it up. Walk it up. All right, firing. Primary target is damaged. Okay, three hits, nice. Hopefully we're fast enough to go before that striker next turn. I know we reserved, so we gotta be very careful, but uh... Infiltrator! Full throttle. I think we're in a good kill zone here for this. Firing! Okay, nice.
Uh, let's just walk it. Little better chance to hit. We don't need to be that close. We're not in a rush with this guy. All right, firing. I'd like it more if you hit with more than one missile. That's only like what ten percent. This urban mech has got such <laughs> it's got such good speed for an Irby. Alright, firing. Take this. Okay, nice damage. Alright, Dallas, you're up again. See if you can finish this guy up. Firing. Aye. Beautiful. It's still going. Let's just back it up. Back it up. Moving out. Can let that vehicle move up. Raven's got LRM fives, I think. I think. Okay, here comes our next victim. Got some SRMs on there. All right, hammer them. Beautiful. Let's back up a little bit. Ooh, okay, we got a bit of damage on him. Nice. It's heads or laser. Now, I don't know what this guy's got on him. But if it was me, it would be a PPC. Good to go. Bring it in a little closer. This guy's not going to be here to the end of this turn, that's for sure. All weapons are go. Yes. What's the plan? Plan is for you to finish this guy up, please. And here it comes. Nope, not quite. Not quite. Okay, we've got two urban mechs back here, it looks like. Oh, what else was that? Three urban mechs. Heads here and a goblin. Take some shots at this guy. Alright, good chances to hit. Taking him. Confirmed. Not bad. Yeah, I'm liking that MRM rack, I gotta say. Just wish it was a 20. Okay, let's finish this guy up. Still going? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I was like, what? You survived that? It's not perfect, but we'll take it here. Is there only three Irbys back there? Looks like it. Looks like it. Okay, good missile hits. Question is, I want Goofy to be in. Here? He's mostly been hit on the other side though. This will give us a better chance. Lightning McQueen! Alright, firing. Confirm. Okay, got the tag on, that's good. If anything hits, let's just hope it's the tag. Uh, 
All right, every hit counts. Okay, they got re reduced armor, which is good. Okay, they're approaching our uh, second lance, which is great. Um, Because I'm crazy, I'm going to do this. All I'm here. Lilu Dallas Multipass. Now I should go after this guy. He's got the AC-20. Right. Okay, that's significant. This guy has got, still got a bunch of armor on this side. Uh, you have orders? I need you to go after this turd bee, please. See if we can get rid of this AC-20 from the battle. As you wish. Beautiful. Thank you. That hit good. Yeah, the whole game is playing so much smoother now. Okay. Finish this guy up if we can. Thank you. This vehicle doesn't have enough speed to get away from us. I'm not worried about it right now. Now he's dropping thunder ammo, so I wonder if he'll pull the legs off that Irby. I hate the sound of those big guns, it always panics me. Getting your ass kicked? What are you talking about, goof? Oh. Torso hit. I see. I see. What's this Hesser going to do next? I see. What'd you take? Ooh, 45. So he's got a he's got a uh, AC 10 on that guy, right? Probably a 10. Oh, this guy's taking significant back damage. Hetzer's got four energy. I don't know if it's four mediums or what it's got. Uh, let's dust this guy. I think we should be able to finish this guy up this turn. And firing. Yes, command. No problem. And firing. That's a lot of crits to the track propulsion. Goofy should be able to finish him up.
All right, buddy. It's all yours. Thank you. Thank you very much. And firing. Locking on target. See ya. Reporting enemy vehicle eliminated. So just the heads are left. For the convoy, that is. Come on, thunder on, buddy. Nope. I have no idea what those lasers are. I think I'm going to burn through that Irby's, uh... Yes, Commander. I want to get on his, um... Sorry, I gotta think about this. Left side. Let's get around here. Because I want to try and save that AC, whatever it is. So let's fire on this side. Yeah, we can probably burn through this side here. Oh, yeah! See what I mean? Just above 50% and they almost all hit. hit. Beautiful. Stand in by. Let's get this Hetzer. Hetzer's got a Hetz. Infiltrator! Infiltration! Here it comes! All okay, I'm glad this was... Okay, I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, the answer still has to go. I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm glad this was an easy mission to watch him friggin' shoot the head off somebody. On my way. Gotta learn to keep my mouth shut. Alright, beautiful chances to hit, taking them. Significant damage, but not enough to kill. Sure did. He's gone next turn. All right. Internal structure damage. Yeah. Wow, he's not moving either. Commander? It's all yours, Dallas. Roger that. See ya. Time to bug out. Get to the LZ for extraction. Let's go home. All right, beautiful. Contract payment increased by 25%. That's more than going to cover, cover our damages, that's for sure. Yeah, let's see what we get here. 600 XP, which is pretty good across the board. Urban mech parts, they're all urbans. What is the 60L? It's the AC20. What's this one? Um... Uh, Howitzer. So that's a Howitzer version. So that was the one I was thinking of. This one is the AC-10 version. So do we just take the three... Three of these? Guarantee a mech out of this? Battle computer plus two initiative. Damn it. Plus two initiative for all landsmates. That's a huge bonus. I'm pretty sure we've got Irby parts, so let's take this. Fingers crossed. Can always sell something if we have to. Uh, LK ammo too would be nice, but dead fire half load. Uh, okay, well I'm just taking this. So we got one, two, three, four urban mech parts. Beautiful. Battle computer, cores. That's nice. That's sellable, sellable, sellable. Incendiary ammo. Okay, that's kind of nice. All right. So we didn't make out too bad. All right. So like nothing for repairs, which is awesome. Okay. So yeah, I don't know if we're going to have the juice to be able to jump to a new system. Let's have a look here. 
Um, navigation. Here we go. Hello, Commander. Good to see you. Good seeing you too. Uh, so we've got 24 day jump. Nine days. Four. Like these are just way too overskulled for us. Two and a half skull. Where is the other? Is it F2? Yeah, F2. So that's one and a half. That's half. One and a half. Like we might find some missions on these one and a half skull worlds. 46 day. Like the, the time though. We just can't, we don't we don't can't afford these jumps. Twenty days to foster. It's a skull and a half, though. Nineteen days. Forty. Like it's as soon as we start to get into the jump points, it's like really expensive. <sighs> Eleven days to hoard. We might get lucky and find something at hoard. So I think we're gonna do that. If it's eleven days, we can jump there and jump back in less time than uh, going to the other planet. So I think we might do that. Uh, we do need to make sure we've got enough uh, to cover our costs here. So I'm going to quickly, I'll do that between episodes. Um, and I haven't quite, I think we want to jump out of here. Um, if we have to jump out and jump back, making 900,000 sea bills is going to be a, a big issue uh, every month. That was definitely a mistake, um, for sure, taking that, uh, that second mech drop. Now this, I think... Repaired mech bay, enable to drop one additional mech, yeah, so requires command console upgrades to control. Um, okay, so the, the thing doesn't have a docking cradle, so my guess is that'll be, that'll be one, this will be two. Six days it's an average cost of 10,000 a month. It's really nothing. Command console. I was going to command additional mech warrior. We need repaired mech bay. So we really need to burn through all of these to be able to get this up and running. So I should have really held off on that. Well, live and learn. If we go bankrupt, we're going to go bankrupt and we'll start over again. But we'll have to see how it goes. Uh, I'll leave the episode there, guys. I'll get everything back into play. We may stay here, do a couple more missions just to get some sea bills before we jump. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. I always welcome comments. It's awesome. Uh, until next time, we'll see everybody later.